Hello guys and welcome to another video. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We are going to learn about this program called Scratch Blocks. If you don't know what this is, it's basically where you can generate scratch blocks from text and it looks really cool afterwards. So um, yeah, yeah, so I really hope you enjoy and let's just get into the content. Okay, so once you make it onto the site, you'll see this. What you want to type here is for example, we can do when green flag clicked and it shows when green flag clicked but what if you didn't want it to be default blocks what if you wanted to try and make your own well um well you can do forever loops just by typing in forever but then you can add more text after it and it will appear you can add in this symbol right here, it will add in a boolean loop. It will add in a boolean, a boolean input. I don't know how to say that. And if you add in these, and if you add in two of these, put a space, you can make it change colors. Like motion is blue, looks is purple, sound, no, no sound is is pink and so on so on i will put a list up on the screen so that way you can see so yeah um see so yeah as you just saw yeah, that's how you get a bunch of colors but what if i told you you could get block shapes in there as well if we just go when green I clicked. We add in these. We can make it colors as usual. Or we can do stuff like this. Uh oh. We can do stuff like this. enter a new territory right now. Square parentheses. Yeah, yeah, you can either make them by default, or you can add a space, add a V, and then it will become a drop down. But, but also, where's, where's the green flag? It's gone. I swear to God. Uh, but first, we need it to change colors to events by using what we've learned already. But now we need to do something that we haven't done before. You heard, <clears throat> you heard the text, right? You can add icons on your blocks. And basically what we want to do is we want to remove green flag from here because we don't need it. And I'm pretty sure what it is is at green. Yep, just look at that. And when we put in at green flag, it adds in the green flag there. We can put at stop sign. And, a, and a we'll put in a stop sign. And, and there's a bunch more. Uh, but also, I'm pretty sure you've noticed something the block chain shapes and i never said that there was a hat shape in there well you'd be wrong wrong actually you just had to put a space and then type in hat and then we and then we have a hat block which is pretty cool but also you can do another thing if you type in cat you can get a cat block also something pretty cool So we can keep it as this, when green flag clicked, and that equals true, but we can also do some other cool stuff, and, uh, and, and that includes adding custom colors, 
and and uh, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you all the icons since uh, since I can't type them all in myself. So I so I hope you enjoy that. There is a few more things that we can do uh, before I'll leave you on your own to make, uh, to make awesome blocks. And uh, and you wanna guess what that is? It's custom colors. Now you might be asking, how do you add custom colors? There's no color picker in here, and and that's true. But we can do. Because, um, because I don't know how to do, because I don't know how to use hex codes, I'm, uh, I'm go to hex codes, HTML color codes. So, um, so yeah, um, uh, I, I kind of forgot to, um, share this tab, uh, but, uh, but basically the hex code I use for the block is here, and it's, uh, uh, and it's what this looks like. So yeah, that's it. And yes, I did in fact forget to, um, to share this tab. So basically what we did is we went and we put in these. We went hashtag and added in our color code and then we get it. So so yeah, I really hope you enjoyed, and uh, and, I, and I really hope that you liked this content. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe because uh, because that would really help the channel, and uh, and it would tell me uh, and it would tell me.